there's three words that I use to help me stay grounded and help me have my consistency of character of who I am and who I want to be, be aligned with who I'm currently being. And the first one is connection. And I learned this when I was maybe 18, 19 years old and I became a personal trainer after working with Eric and doing some part-time gigs like at Lifetime with rock climbing and front desk. And I learned this in a really interesting way. I've always attracted these, these clients over time that were like multimillionaire business owners. And the thing that they always said was that they wish they had spent more time with family and less time on business and work, although they had achieved so much um, material success. And I found that really interesting. And I would, you know, over time would meet people that seemed to be extremely happy, but had, you know, no material success. And I was like, there has to be some sort of middle ground. If there was a middle ground, what would that have to look like to become a reality? And I began to seek that out. And over the years, I've found all different types of organizations and people like Mind Valley that teach things like that. And that's why connection is my number one, because the thing that I saw all these materialistically wealthy people missing out on was the relationships in their life. It was usually that they hadn't spent enough time with their kids, their marriages had fallen apart, and they weren't close enough to their family. And over time, I began to see the type of people I was attracting was up leveling and more and more so they were more connected to their families, more connected to their children, although maybe still had some of those regrets in their life. And the second word I use is abundance. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the same lesson. And I learned that this lesson was called environmental happiness, or at least that's what I'm titling it, which I'm sure I'm going to create some sort of a course, some sort of a thing. It's definitely in the book that I'm writing, which is called the most beautiful question MBQ. And it's a formula that I learned from these people that allowed them to achieve such insane levels of material success. And I was wondering, could you use the same formula that they were using to achieve the intrinsic, the spiritual, the happiness level of success, the non-materialistic, the spiritual success? Something that gives you joy and pleasure to just wake up in the morning and live your life without needing to see giant numbers or to have a new car or a new house or travel to a new city. Um, for the sake of your ego. Um, could it be something greater? Could it be something more? And that's what I've been using this formula for. And the formula is really simple. I'll give it to you really quick. And then if you want to learn more, there's gonna be more videos. I'm writing an entire book on it, doing a lot of interviews with these various mentors of mine that I've learned things from over the years and new mentors that I've been gaining. Um, I'm sure you can imagine who those people might be. If you follow anything that I've been up to, which everything I've been up to has really been sort of a selfish pursuit of trying to figure out where is this middle ground and how can I make it a reality, right? How can I get this reality of some material success, maybe not billions, but something that's going to um, leave me feeling secure at the end of life, not with a lot of money, but with a lot of cool skills, a lot of cool friends and a ton of fulfillment and then to share what I've been learning along the way with you guys because I wanna have friends that are just as cool and just as developed as I am. So everything that I learn, I wanna make sure I put it out to you guys and then hopefully from this can make the coolest friends in the world because that's how social media and connection works these days. Anyone who watches this video might feel connected to me and then I'm seeking these people that feel connected through this type of information. So it's a win-win. And abundance is all about that mindset. How can we get the best life? Is it possible to get the, to create the life that you truly want? And then how can you make that a reality? And that's what this journey has all been about. And what I'm assuming it will be about until the day that I die. And then the third word being, and then my third word being generosity and realizing that the material things don't have as much value to me as they might have to other people and to have a life of such connection and abundance that I can let go of things that matter more to other people than they do to me. So for instance, right now, there was a friend who has been living in my house for, I don't know, maybe like one, two months. And before that, I had a friend that lived in my house for six months. And my friend who's living in my house now is living there rent free. And I have another friend that's coming into town. I'm trying to figure out how to get him to also live in my house. He's going to be in the States for six months. I want to help him as much as possible. Um, I mean, to everything, right? How can I loan them my cars? How can I loan them 
um, money if they really need it and it's valuable, although I don't necessarily believe in loaning money. Um, and to have the ability to be generous for the right reasons. It sounds interesting. I'm sure that concept's gonna develop a lot more and I'm young and idealistic and I'll have to learn and you know roll with the punches as they come in. But those are my three keywords for life. Those are some of the stories, I guess, about how those happened. Um, if you guys share some of these, like throw down some comments, throw down some feedback. What are your three words? How do you ground yourself on a day-to-day -day basis when you are faced with the everlasting race of life as long as we're alive? It's really interesting. Quick addition, you guys. There are a bunch of other topics that I want to start covering in these little vlogs and in these experts excerpts of me traveling. And I want to know, did you guys like this? Would you like it to be more dynamic? Or do you like it when it's like handheld, steady, all in one clip, one go? Or would it be cool if there was like a studio setup? Or would it be cooler if I like showed it and did the stories, like little short films? What sounds interesting to you guys? I really want to know and I want to make it happen so that you can learn and you can be entertained and this will help lots of other people. Because I know you guys know who I am, so of course you're going to watch because you're good friends. I wanna know what's gonna get your friends to watch and what's gonna help them up-level their life and how can I contribute to them through this medium of doing videos and sharing little tiny, tiny bits of wisdom that I maybe have garnered throughout life.